So before we do, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the power on. So the battery MOS switch is up here. So just close that switch there. And that checklist won't go into this. Oh, wow. So this, that checklist is kind of the up. upper end. That's kind of like yeah, pre-flight, so oxygen checks, things like that. But it doesn't go through like every individual switch you've got to throw. So if you want to throw that, we can. But So the yeah. first thing we're going to do is actually press the red button at the same time. Same time. Uh, keep that switch held over, press the button, and that silences the bell. So now you can actually check all the lights to make sure everything is actually going correctly. Do you want to press that and then I press the button? Yeah. So I hold it over to the right, press the button, and then we can see we've got the overheat some, and make sure that all the lights are doing what they should do. So tip, get your tips of your toes, push it forward, there you go, and then open up the power to about a third. That's about enough. And then let go of the brakes. And then bring the power back a little bit, about halfway from where you are. And what I want you to do is follow that yellow line to the right, and then we'll go on to the second taxiway and go left. While he's doing that, if you can put the flaps please to five. No idea actually, we just talk when we talk like this. We normally put the headsets on if we look current. So you can go a little, a little bit quicker with a bit more power if you need. So, what you could do is put 192, 192, 192. Choose this taxi away on the next one. Okay, do I do the other one as well? Does the other course go to 192? Oh, yes, please. Start which is to continuous. So we take a right now, do a little bit of brake. So turn that one and that one to the right once. So push in. There we go. Landing light and one way turn off lights can go on. So all of those six just push forward. And the next two. basically look at now is just check all the in engine instruments they're all good if you put your finger onto the back button there push it push it down now keep yourself straight on the runway catch catch in a minute and just keep it straight down the runway 
Yeah, you both engines are good. The, with the rudders? Or with the rudders now, yeah. So you have a right rudder. Get a right rudder. Not the seat. the right a couple of notches and then we can see our flight plan. And cool. yeah because the flaps have gone it changes the camber of the wing meaning we can go faster. Yep. And you would find your trim's completely different now as well. And then the and then so the red stuff above is the when we're going too fast over speed and then the red stuff below is when we're getting really dangerous and you don't want to go otherwise you're going to fall out of the sky. Okay, a little bit slow. Right, so what we're going to do now is if you press the next page for me um, and press the landing button, okay. press control clear a couple of times, one, three more times, press landing. And then go to previous page. Uh, what we'll do is we'll put that into in hit pack, which is uh, yeah, there we go. Then basically now it's in, included into the flight plan, and it will take us straight to that next approach. So yeah. nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. We'll probably put our seatbelts on a little bit too early, but that's okay. <laughs> Better to be safe than sorry. Just keep on going away. So this is going to take us on pretty much what would be down, equivalent to downwind on the approach. So if you look out the window to the left, you see the Gold Coast. Back, 
showing the spoilers of actually the points. You see the runway? Yeah. They're happy Beautiful approach. We were live streaming and playing the tape. Yeah, you have to go Yeah, right.